the experience was less challenging than I thought it was. It was uh, initially, in sort of the build-up and, and sort of trying to feel my way uh, towards the stage, I was noticing other people and I was noticing other people practicing. And I was noticing a sort of a, a low-level tension, right? And uh, so I was affected by that. And then once I got onto the stage, it just sort of seemed to, I could feel it just sort of shedding away. It was like, what, what is this? Like, you know, it was easy, right? I mean, art is often presented as a frame object, curated, signed. There's the authority. It's on the wall. What does it mean? I don't know, but I like it. You know, these sort of things are all ways to distance ourselves from the experience. But what I learned was that people want to be connected. They want to be engaged. They want to get their fingers dirty, right? They don't want to feel that they've been left out or insulted or disrespected in any way. What I do is I take totem poles and make them into comic books. And the reason why I do that is I'm trying to take these highly iconic structures and make them available to people who are otherwise feeling isolated. I think one of the problems that Canada has with its relationship to Indigenous people is the inclination to generalize and to dehumanize the other. And, and, and that's what's happened in Paris, right? It's this violence and it just keeps slamming back. And uh, uh, at some point, we need to break that. And I think the way to break that is to realize that people on both sides of the conflict are moms and dads and kids and people, they're humans. If I can take highly iconic structures and make them accessible to people, and people start to see one another as people, maybe some of these horrors won't happen.